Hi everyone. Today we are going to solve Primary Mathematics Book 4A from page number 87 to 92. One. Today we are going to solve review 3 of the chapter 3 from page number 87. So let's start. First you have to write your name, class and date. Express as a mixed number in its simplest form. Here is the shape is given. We have to read the shape and write the answers. So first shape is a whole because there is no parts in this picture. So one whole and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight denominators and one, two, three, four, five, six numerator. So now we are going to write this as a simple whole number. One and six upon eight. Now we can, we have to make this as a simplest form. So we are going to cut this six and eight with the table of two. Two threes are six and two fours are eight. So the answer is one whole three upon four. Number B, again we have two holes and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 complete parts and 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 shaded parts. So we are going to write this as a mixed number 2, 4 upon 6. Now we are going to cut this 4 and 6 with the table of 2. 2 twos are 4, 2 threes are 6. So the answer is 2, 2 upon 3. Number C, again we have one hole and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 parts and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 shaded. Now I am going to write this as a simple, num simple mixed number. And then we are going to check the 6 and 12 in the same multiple. So 6 ones are 6 and 6 twos are 12. Now the answer is 1 whole 1 upon 2. Page number 88. Now here we have on page number 88, number 2 is write as an improper fraction in its simplest form. First we are going to count the complete shades. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the complete parts are 16 and the shaded parts are 2 less than 16 is 14. Now we are going to cut this because we are going to write this in a simplest form. So we are going to find 14 and 16 in the same table. So 2 7 is 14 and 2 8 is 16. Same as it is we have to do number B, number C <coughs> and number D. Now move on to the next page, page number 89. On page number 89 we have the question that change the improper fraction to mixed number. Each express each mixed numbers in its simplest form. So what we are going to do, we have to find how many 8 can we take in 22. So we can take 8 plus 8 is 16 and 16 plus 8 is 24. So we cannot take 3 8s. We only take 2 8s and the remaining is 6. 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 plus 6 is 22. So 8 and 8, 1 whole plus 1 whole plus 6 upon 8. So 1 plus 1, 2 and 6 upon 8 is same as it is. Now we are going to cut this 6 upon 8. 2 3s are 6 and 2 4s are 8. Same as it is we have we have to take 9s from 39. So let's see how many 9s we have we can we have to we can take from this 39. So we have we can take 1, 2, 3, 4. We can take 4 9s and the remaining is 3. 4 nines is 36. So 36 and 3 upon 9 is left. Now 1, 2, 3, 4. Add the numbers 4 and 3 upon 9. Now we have to make the simple of 3 upon 9. 3 ones are 3. 3 threes are 9. Same as it is we have 16 upon 10 and 30 upon 12. So let's solve the 16 upon 10. How many 10s we can take from 16? We can take only one 10. And the remaining is 6 upon 10. Now this is 1 whole and 1 upon 6 upon 10. Now convert this into simplest number 2 3 is 6 and 2 5 is 10. So the answer is 1 whole 3 upon 5. 
again we have 30 upon 12 so we have to check that how many 12s we can take from the 30 let's see 12 12 plus 12 and 12 12 plus 12 24 so 24 from 30 the remaining is 6 upon 12 now 1 2 1 plus 1 6 upon 12 2 6 upon 12 now we are going to cut this 6 upon 12 and 6 1 is 6 and 6 2 is 12. So the answer is 2 1 upon 2. Now here we have change the mixed numbers to improper fraction. Express each improper fraction in its simplest form. Again we have 4 questions. We can solve this in an easy method. We don't need to solve this complete section. We are just simply solve this like 9 2 is a 18 and 18 plus 3 is 21 so the answer is 21 upon 9 now we can take a simple of this 3 3 is a 9 and 3 7 is a 21 same as it is we can take the simple method of this 8 1 is a 8 and 8 plus 7 is a 7 8 1 is a 7 14 so the answer is 14 upon 8 now we are going to make the simple of 14 and 8 it is 7 upon 4 same as it is we can make the simple of 2 times a 20 20 plus 4 is 24 now make the simple of 24 and 10 2 5 is a 10 so here we have 18 8 multiplied by 1 is 8 8 plus 6 is 14 now 10 2 is a 20 20 plus 4 is 24 and the denominator will remain same now we have to make the simple 2 5 is a 10 2 1 is a 2 and 2 2 is a 4 same as it is 12 3 is a we don't need to write all this we just simply write 12 3 is a 38 30 12 3 is a 36 number d 12 3 is a 36 36 plus 2 is 38 so the denominator will remain same 12 and 38 now we are going to cut this 2 6 are 12 2 1 are 2 1 here 2 9 are 18 so the answer is 19 upon 6 page number 90 on page number 90 we have the word problem there are 45 people in a class 3 upon 5 of the people do not wear glasses how many people do not wear glasses so 5 unit of 45 5 unit of 45 so 1 unit of 45 is 5 divided by 45 5 nines are 45 and the remaining 3 is 9 multiplied by 3 9 3 is a 27 it means that 27 people do not wear glasses number 6 is there are 96 mangoes in a box 5 upon 6 of the mangoes are ripe how many ripe mangoes are there so again 6 units of mangoes is 96 so let's find one unit so let's divide 96 with 6 96 with 6 6 1 is 6 3 and 6 6 6 is 36 so the answer is 16 96 divided by 6 is 16 now the remaining 5 units will be multiplied with 16 5 1 is 5, 6 is a 30, 0 here and 3 on the next number, 5 1 is a 5 plus 3 is 80. So there are 80 ripe mangoes. Number 7, Sam had 56 dollars. He spent 1 upon 2 of it on a shirt and 15 on a pair of sandals. How much did he spend? So first we are going to find the 2 units of 56. So 2 units of 56 is 28. Now we are going to simply add 28 with 15. 28 plus 15 is 43. It means that Sam spent 43 dollars. Page number 91. On page number 91 we have the question. Here we have to make the denominator same. Then we are going to add the numbers because two questions are of these all questions are of addition. Like 12 and 7. 7 upon 12 and 1 upon 2. We have to make this to 12. So we can multiply this 2 with 6. And we have to multiply the denominator and numerator with the same number. 
So, 7 upon 12, 1, 6 is 6 and 2, 6 is 12. So, the denominator became same. 7 plus 6 is 13. We can take this number as our answer or we can divide this. Again, we have to make the denominator same. 10 will remain same. We have to make this 5, 10. So, 5, 2 is 10, 4, 2 is 8. 8 upon 10 plus 7 upon 10 is 15 upon 10. Now we have to make this 8 and 12 same. So we are going to multiply this number 8 with 3 and 12 with 2. 8 3 is 24, 6 is 6 3 is 18, 11 2 is 22, and 12 to the 24 so the denominator becomes same 24 and 24 18 plus 22 is 40 again we have to make 9 and 12 same so we are going to multiply this 9 with 4 as you can see and this 12 with 3 9 4 is 28 9 4 is 7 4 is 28 9 4 is 36 8 3 is 24 and 12 3 is 36 so 36 and 36 become same and 28 plus 24 is 52. Same as it is, we have to solve this subtraction. Here we are going to make the denominator same. Here we have only one number. When we have one number, it means we have 5 upon 1. So we have to make this one same with 4 upon 12. We have to make this 1 12. So we are going to simply multiply this number with 12. Again, we have 2. It means it is 2 upon 1. Here we have 1 upon 4. Here we have 2 upon 3. Simply, we have to make the denominator same. Then subtract the number and we will get the answer. Page number 92. Page number 92. Solve express each fraction in its simplest form. Plant A is 9 upon 10 meter tall. Plant B is 1 upon 4 meter shorter than plant A. We have to find two things. What is the height of plant B? And what is the total height of both the plants? So first we are going to subtract 9 by 10 and 1 by 4 because we are going to find the shorter. So to subtract, first we have to make the denominator same. We cannot make 4, 10 and we cannot make 10, 4. So we are going to find the common multiple in both the numbers. So we can subtract 10 2s are 20, 9 2s are 18, 4 5s are 20, 1 5s are 5. 18 minus 5 is 13 and 20 will be remain same. So it means what is the length of plant B? The length of plant B is 13 upon 20. Now again we have to same this denominator. Now we are going to add the numbers plant A and plant B. So 9 multiplied by 2 is 18. 10 multiplied by 2 is 20. 20 plus 13 upon 20. 18 plus 13 is 31. 20 plus 20 is 20 will remain same. Now we can divide so we can get the answer or we will write this as our answer. Number 11. Again we have to subtract these two numbers. First we are going to make the denominator same. After making the denominator same we are going to take this 3 upon 4 minus 2 upon 3. Here we have 2 upon 3. First we make the denominator same. Then write the answer. What fraction of pizza did he left? He left with the fraction of pizza 1 upon 2. Number 12. A container filled with sand weight 1 kg. When it is half filled, its weight 5 upon 8 kg. So 1 and 1 upon 1, 5 and 5 upon 8. So first we are going to make the denominator same. And then we get the answer 3 upon 8. Now, 5 upon 8 minus 3 upon 8. 8 and 8 is same. So, 5 minus 3 is 2. Now, we can also take it as a simple 2 1s are 2 and 2 4s are 8. 